Are you struggling against weaker players? Are you losing against players that are actually worse than you? What the hell? Today, how to avoid losing to worse players. I'm going to start right now. Okay. And we have seals on just You like it? You like it? Good match. There are many things we have to discuss in order to beat players that are worse than us. And it's not easy to play against people that are worse than you because your ego might be completely in the way of winning the match. And that's the first thing that we're going to talk about of many things. But the, your ego is probably the first thing. One, get rid of your ego. When you're losing against players that are worse than you, there are many thoughts that come up in your mind and I have them too, everybody has them. So no worries, but I'm much better than this guy. Why the hell am I losing? He can't even play Bandeja. Why am I losing to this player? These are thoughts that are completely okay, completely logical. Um, it does not necessarily mean that you are better than your opponent because I think many players are just thinking about technique or tactics, but the mental game is also a very big part of paddle. And they might not have an amazing technique, but if you are fair good here, you're gonna win way more matches. So don't underestimate the power of the mental part of the game. Take responsibility for losing the match. So you're losing the match. And that's more important that you feel better than your opponent, like, oh, I'm much better. Take responsibility. So sometimes it's like, it's not your fault that you're losing, but it is your fault. It feels like you are losing the match because the guy on the other side is worse and that's why you play shit today. But it's you. <laughs> you are underestimating your opponent. Start by making a plan. If you start to stick to the plan, even though it's a wrong plan, you are getting back in the game. If you start and complaining about you should win this match, I am better than him, you're not into the match. So stop complaining, start playing the plan, even though it's a wrong plan, you need to play with a structure, with a plan in order to beat this guy. And he might be totally shit, but if you don't play with a plan, you are going to lose. Tip number two, Focus on their weakness. Everybody has a weakness. Even Djokovic in tennis. I don't like him. Sometimes they just have a, a worse backhand. And if you are just so full in thoughts like, oh, I'm better than my opponent. Why am I losing? You are so far away from playing the game plan, from finding the weakness on the other side, that you're not really focused or anything. You're just winning by chance and losing by, yeah, they are lucky. So find their weakness because that's gonna help you to, to, to find the game plan that you need. Um, the player on the right might be worse than the player on the left, or the player on the right makes more mistakes than the player on the left. Just focus and play to the complete other player. You have to change something because you're losing and get a, you need to grip on the game. So if you know why you lost the point or where the weakness is, you can turn the game around. Hey! Oh, I like forehands. Try to play more here, guys. Ah! Don't show any negative emotion. So there are multiple reasons why you should not show any negative emotion. One of the most important ones is if you don't show any negative emotion, the physical response of stress will be less. So that means if, if you react very negative, you're going to play very tense. If you respond like Bob Marley, you will not feel so much stress even though you lost a point. Another reason is that your opponent cannot really read if you feel stressed or not. So they are not sure if they are winning or losing. If you respond very negative, 
they will probably think, hey, I'm gonna win this match. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna beat these guys. Nice. You also seem way more confident if you don't show any negative emotion. Because it's like, yeah, I'm gonna play better soon. No worries, I'm gonna beat you. But if it's like, oh, my backhand! You will seem less confident. So if you are going to miss your backhand and every time you're going to say, Oh, my backhand is terrible. They were going to play to your backhand. So you give a lot of information away. So if you're like, hmm, no worries. They were like, hmm, I need to remain focused because this guy, it's not over. After I won the first point of the first uh, set, I might have to, I might going to lose anyway. Your weakness is also in this play because if you miss a backhand, and you get upset, even though you will not say, my backhand is terrible, I'm gonna play badminton. If you made a mistake and you're not doing anything about it, you just made a mistake and say, okay, can I have the third ball? Okay, okay, next point, boom. They will not think of, hey, his lob might not be good. But if, if you get really upset about that you missed the bandeja, um, there is, they know you ha they have to play that ball again. Because if I see that my opponent is missing his backhand and he is angry, Okay, here is another backhand, <laughs> hey! But it's not easy to remain neutral. But if you respond neutral, this is a very good exercise for you to do. Every single match that you are going to play from now on, I want you to respond neutral on every time you are making a mistake. Tip number four is walk off the court. So, I just walked off the court, I came better, and I have a way better presentation again. So, I once played against a guy, and I don't want to make people upset, but he was a very good table tennis player, I was a decent tennis player, he came to the court with a pink Juventus shirt, and he was just kicking my ass, and he just said, yeah, we warmed up. He played one serve and said, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, what the hell? And that fucked me up. So what I, I was totally off guard. So I underestimated him because I was like, no, I'm not gonna lose against a guy with a Juventus shirt that only has been playing tennis for three months. But I was losing. Six, one, first set. I was absolutely shit. And that was because of me, not because of him. He was not that bad, but I underestimated him. And I should never have done that. But lesson learned, I lost the first set, six, one. What I did is I walked off the court. I changed my shirt. I took a piss. I looked into the mirror and I said, Sven, what the hell are you doing? I splashed my face with water. T-shirt on. Okay. I'm gonna go beat this guy. Tactic. He didn't have a good backhand. Every ball on his backhand, no matter what. Okay, 6-0, six, 6-0 zero, six, zero for me, ha, won the match. But the most important thing is if I never walked off that court, if I would have left all my negative thoughts and I just continued to play, I would have lost this match and I would never have this story for you. So if you play shit after the first set, get off the court, change your shirt, change your racket, change your hairstyle, get a haircut, uh, shave your beard and then get back on the court. You need to change something because otherwise uh, you're gonna lose. Ugh! Stupid mistake. Identify why you are losing the points. So you need to analyze. You don't want to overanalyze like I do, but you want to analyze the points where you won the points and where you lost the points. So it might be that you're making, that you're losing the match because you're making too many unforced errors. Could also be <coughs> that you're losing because you want to score the shot. Because everybody should see that you are better than your opponents. And <laughs> I'm better than those guys, so I just need to score. I don't need to beat them. I need to win 6-0, 6-0 and smash every ball out the court. No. If you want to win, it would sometimes be better that they make the mistake 
because they will feel worse because every time they lost the point it's their own fault you might be playing the good shots um, you might be playing too easy because you're scared to lose but you also might be on the other hand let you want to score too much because you're so much better than this opponent so you want to stay in the middle and if you stick to the tactic like we discussed in tip number two and then just play shots that you should play in the tactic and you lose completely fine but you need to identify why you lose why you're winning because if you also identify why you're winning the point you also know what you have to do to win the point if you're not sure why you won the point you have no structure no tactic nothing so identify why you lose identify why you win and then identify the plan namaste tip number six is to move more if your opponent is not as good it is very likely that you're going to walk on the court with footwork of an elephant you're not gonna win if you move like an elephant on the court so always before you are going to play the point try to move if you're going to start the the serve bounce and okay and then i'm going to play or when i'm starting to return i'm gonna be ready like this split step let's go if my partner gets all the shots and you're not getting any shot still move like every ball can come to you if you move more than your opponents i'm guaranteed that you're going to win 50 percent more of your matches i don't have the statistics I don't have the statistics, I don't have the sticks, but in the statistics, if you move more than your opponent, you're 50% you're likely to win the match. So if you don't move, what are you doing? So it's statistics. Ah. Score according to the plan. If you are scared of not losing, because that's what is happening at the moment in your match, because your opponent is worse and you're scared to lose, scared to fail in front of your parents and the audience, and uh, then you need to, if you are going to score, and if you're going to get this, the, if you're going to get this easy shot, this is the moment where you overthink your entire existence on earth, that easy shot, you have an option to the glass in the fence, the corner, the middle, the fence in that part, that, that co corner, uh, drop shot. You have too many options. So if you s want to score, just think of one option. Your favorite place to play when you play fast, play all, all your shots there because you don't overthink uh, anything if you just have one spot where you play. If you change your mind, you're going to fail. So stick to how you want to score. Because many times you start to build up on the right player, the build up on the right player, you build up on the right player, easy shot, and you change. It's stupid. So stick to the scoring. And then if you score and you fail, good. Fail harder. Fail like you never done before, but you need to commit to the direction you want to play with. If you make a mistake, fine but stick to your plan the last tip for you today and that's accept your level i was playing a match once and i was playing shots that i shouldn't play one of the coaches said to me sven you are playing cards that you don't have today it's like you're playing a card game you are getting a good forehand a good backhand and a good smash in your hand today Last match, you might have an amazing Fibola. A good smash, a good forehand, a good backhand. You had a way bigger hand. You had many options to choose from. But today, Bandeja is not working. Folly with the backhands, not working. Then play with the cards that you have. So, under pressure, my Fibola is not so good. Under pressure, my smash is always there. Doesn't mean that I have to smash everything, but it does mean is if I feel that I'm losing the match and I feel I'm better than them and that gives me pressure, 
and I want to play V with us, it might not be the best option. It might be better for me to make short angles with my smash. So I use my smash in a different way. I design my gameplay in a different way because my vibra is not there. And the mistake of many players is they just keep playing the same. I played a match recently where somebody's smash wasn't working, but he kept smashing the entire game. So in the end, it was worse and worse and worse and worse. We kept losing more and more and more points because his smash was not working. He didn't receive the smash card. So don't play your smash card because you don't have it. We are playing in the rain today. It is wet. My smash, I'm not gonna play it. So that means is that my smash, I don't have it today. I need to play differently. So play the cards that you have and play the shots that are more solid the ones that you don't make any mistake from. I think that will help a lot. To close of this video, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't think that losing is the worst thing in the world because I think sometimes we just have to shut up, stop crying about it and just get on and get better and win the next match. And that sometimes it would be really, really good that we lose a match. It would be really good to, to play absolutely terrible. Because the thing is, is we improve and our standards rise. We improve and our standards rise. But our standards might be here and it's actually there. And the opponent that we think is terrible might be here. But we think, oh, we are better. And that's not always the case. It's more than technique, it's more than tactics. It's more than the physical part. Um, so just accept that you're going to lose and that's totally fine and, and it's good for you. But don't lose yourself, don't get so upset because it's not necessary. You have to stop complaining and start smiling on the court and that will help you, I think, the most. If you want to recommend anybody a tip, then let us know below. Uh, for the rest, I see you next Monday. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Ladies and gentlemen, 70% of the viewers are not subscribed. Uh, I, it would mean a lot, a lot, a lot if you would subscribe to the channel because our goal is to get that silver play button from YouTube to get 100,000 subscribers. Um, so yeah, if you can help us with that, it would be amazing. We also have a membership channel on YouTube. I can help you with your power level online. So send me your technique or your tactics. If you become a special member, you can send in the video of your smash, uh, of your game, and I can analyze this and send the video message back to you that only the members can see. So if you want me to help you without going anywhere, send the video to me, info at otronivelpadel.com, become a member, and I will post the video there. Vamos.